At first glance, a visitor to Nantes may think that the city is rather heavy-handed with its parking line restrictions. But this green line has nothing to do with restricting access around the city. On the contrary, this line, known as Le Voyage à Nantes, leads its followers around a 12-kilometre circular route, showcasing the city's history, key landmarks, rich culture and stunning architecture. The beautiful neoclassic Passage Pomeray shopping mall is certainly one of the more distinguished locations along the route, showing off Nantes' grandeur past. But Nantes is also not afraid to face up to its darker past. Between the 15th and 19th centuries, Nantes' major dealing in the slave trade made it one of the richest cities in France. The extent of its role during that time is made pertinently clear by this memorial along the quay side. A few points one should consider before setting off on Le Voyage. Don't leave it too late to tackle the route, as the opening hours of some destinations may require a detour. Also take a map, particularly whilst following the route around the aisle, as sudden branches in the line can leave one feeling a little lost. Look out for local artist Jean Julien's artwork peppered along the route. As well as raising a laugh, it also helps alleviate culture fatigue. And lastly, look up occasionally from the line, otherwise certain delights and must-sees may be missed. Nantes' most famous son is fantasy novelist Jules Verne. The city's industrial revolution may have influenced Verne's imagination, but the novelist's love for fantasy worlds clearly rubbed off on the city. All manner of fantasy creatures can be found along the route of Le Voyage, from huge mechanical elephants to floral dream bears. During the summer of 2016, children's writer and illustrator Claude Ponty turned the city's Jardin de Plans into a magical plants factory. The catapo seen here consumes flower pots, and eventually a new flower pot pops out of the catapo thus explaining the never-ending life cycle of Mother Nature, or at least illustrates the enriching properties of manure. <laughs>